Okay, so now your mind is a whirl, realizing the power, the control, the opportunity, and the geometric growth you have within the palm of your hand. So let's talk about some mechanisms, because it's very important that you understand a couple of phrases that will apply. There are uh, three key words that you should remember forever. Upselling, cross-selling, down-selling, packaging, actually four words. What is upselling? Upselling is the honorable and noble process of taking a buyer who has made a decision already to buy your product or service and moving them up to either, pardon me, a higher quality, a larger quantity, or a better combination and you only do that when it's in their best interest. But most people do not buy what's in their best interest. They buy sort of what they decide to buy. So as the trusted advisor, your job is to lead and guide them to the optimal maximum benefit outcome and result for them. And the way to get it is to do what I just said, to guide them but be ready to move them up, upsell them to the best either category, quality, quantity, or combination. Cross-sell means be prepared to add, when they decide to buy, other products or services that naturally complement or uh, complete or or improve or enhance the performance or the uh, benefit of the single product they were going to buy. That can be other products you normally sell or it can be other products or services that you uh, acquire from outside providers and package together. The philosophy behind this is not manipulation. It's contribution and service. If you know in your heart that buying one thing will not deliver the maximum outcome that is possible if they add other products or services to the transaction, or you know that when they buy your product, they're going to have to go out somewhere and buy other complementary products or services anyhow, you are doing them a service, you are making it easy, and you are leading, guiding, and advising them if you acquire or you offer these combinations. Upsell, moving them up. Cross-sell, getting them to buy additional products. Downsell, means some of them will decide or you will decide for them in their best interest that they're not ready yet or their budget isn't adequate yet for the big product. So you sell them down to a lesser starter point or some way at least that they will get a benefit and you will get a starting relationship with them that you can develop and nurture and grow. So upsell, cross-sell, downsell, and then resell. And resell is the process of selling them over and over again. And if you have nothing else to sell, it's the process of sourcing other products and services because you have what is called a sunk cost. You have already invested substantially in finding them as a prospect, converting them as a first-time buyer. If you don't have a lot of other things to sell, it doesn't mean that you stop. It means that you find other products or services that are appropriate and in alignment with the kind of product or service or 
the reason behind they, them buying the product or service and you make those available. But reselling people is as important as initially selling. The big mistake most people make once they get that buyer the first time is thinking that buyer will be there all the time for them and just naturally come back. Doesn't happen. The true reality, the grim and shocking reality is while you're out trying to recruit and solicit and attract and generate new buyers, there are dozens if not hundreds of competitors going after the person or the company that bought from you initially. And that's within your product range like the supplement. There are hundreds more competitors with alternative means like the weight law or the, the weight equipment or the trainer or the gym. So you have to respect and constantly resell. And that means staying connected. That means keeping the, the client aware of all the advantages. That means communicating continuously and adding value of sell, cross sell, down sell, resell. All of those are very, very important. There's another sell, referral sell. And referral sell is probably the most overlooked opportunity you will have in whatever business you decide to go into or you have already started, as long as you provide, produce, and deliver exquisite value above and beyond expectation to your client market. Let me explain. The vast majority of small and medium-sized businesses that I look at receive anywhere between 10% and 100% of their business from referrals or word of mouth. And yet, and yet, almost none of them do anything strategically or systematically to continuously stimulate their satisfied clients to be motivated and focused on going to their friends, their colleagues, their coworkers, their their neighbors, their family, and refer those people back to them. We have studied that issue and we have found that there are 93, not three and not nine, nine, three, 93, almost 100 separate strategies and systems that are available for you to use on a regular basis to interact with your satisfied clients to motivate, direct, and, um, and stimulate them to continuously and purposely produce for you regular, consistent, continuous referral buyers. Now, why do you want that? Because most small businesses spend all their time, all their money, on advertising or internet or uh, pay-per-click or uh, going to the conferences and having a booth. And all along, what those are, are uh, in marketing terms, those are vehicles that are trying to start creating trust and credibility. It's a long process. It's an expensive process. It's a very low yielding process. It's the least profitable activity you'll ever do, but it's critical if you don't have an alternative. However, if you generate a consistent, continuous, and predictable supply of referrals, a referral generated buyer buys quicker, negotiates less, buys more things, buys more combinations, buys more frequently, is far more enjoyable to deal with, is far less problem creating, and refers more people, and most importantly, costs you zero. So you have to learn referral generating, and you will, because guess what? In your workbook, 
we have included not one or two or three, but 93 different referral generating systems and strategies. And by the way, don't get all nervous and think I'm expecting you to learn and master all 93. But since almost none of your competitors and probably not even you yourself utilize even one, can you imagine how much more powerful, how much more productive, how much more profitable you will be once and after you add three or five or six of them to your business model? I hope you're starting to see how much outrageous control and enormous geometric boost and growth potential you have within your hands. The other day I said something. I will say it again. In business, 2% of what happens to you are what we call acts of God. They are things beyond your control, good and bad, usually bad. Industry change, competition comes in, technology happens, all kinds of things and you can't control it. Economy changes, political changes, dollar devaluated, raised, whatever. 98% of what happens to you are the direct result of actions you take or don't take, decisions you make or don't make, factors and forces that absolutely exist and that you probably haven't even recognized that you either decide to control or be controlled by. And referral generating is probably the biggest single opportunity you have to control your destiny and multiply many times over your profit because a referral generated buyer costs you nothing, is far more profitable, and as long as you deliver a product or service that preferably exceeds but at least equals the proposition and promise that you make, your clients will be satisfied because we talked about positioning the other day and they will love you. And all you have to do is guide them systematically and strategically on how to want and then after they want how to execute going to their friends, going to their neighbors, going to their co-workers, going to their colleagues in business, going to their relatives, and referring all of them continuously to you. But imagine right now if you're getting any referrals or when you start business, if you get referrals just episodically and occasionally, what would happen if you purposely and strategically concentrated on getting every satisfied client continuously and fully, passionately, purposely, and uh, productively generating referrals for you every month. Explosive growth would be yours. I think for today, that's a lot to think about. And I enjoy thoroughly these conversations because I feel like slowly but certainly we're opening your mind we're taking a sense of impossibility and getting you to embrace infinite possibility. We're showing you 3D glasses that make all the wonderful and powerful dynamics of geometric business growth possible. And you and you alone are probably one of the only people in whatever industry, whatever product or service category you go into who understand it. We call it in the States, the world is your oyster. It means you have the chance to do, be, achieve whatever you want when you learn how to control the power and the forces I'm sharing with you. So spend some time with your workbook. Watch this session many times. And if you're not in business yet, make darn certain that the three way to grow a business, upsell, resell, downsell, um, cross sell, are all part of your strategy and that referral generating is too. 
and not just one referral system or strategy, at least five. Talk to you very soon. Enjoy.